How's it going guys? MTG Mondays here. It's been a long time since my last video. I've been really trying to focus on my gaming channel, but I really I really kind of want to start getting this going again too cuz I really love this channel and I love, you know, I love all the comments that you guys leave and uh so I figured, hey, why not? I'll upload my newest deck that I've been looking at here. And this one is Melic. Is it Paragon? So he's 6 for a 2/4. I can play the top card of my library revealed. I can cast the card if it's an instant or sorcery, and whenever I cast an instant or sorcery from my library, I get to copy it and choose new targets. So he's really cool. Uh, first off, I'm going to start off with lands here. I've got 35 lands total in the deck. Um, so we've got Desolate Lighthouse, just to get your those one those cards if you really, really need it. Draw a card, discard a card, very awesome looter effect. Spine Rock Knoll, I've always loved this kind of card. Um, the Hideaway is just nice and something nice to have in here. Get that extra 7 damage in, then you get a free card. Uh, Steam Vents, Sulphur Falls, and the Izzet Guild Gate. Then I have 17 Islands, and 13 Mountains. Let me just find the end of them here. Okay. And then we're going to move on to the creatures. Well, creatures and other things. Just kind of the fun things in the deck. First off, we got Teferi. He's really, really fun. You can uh, you can make things come out with Flash, and your opponent can't play stuff that are instants or anything, so he's really awesome to get out. Uh, Hypersonic Dragon lets me cast sorceries, though they have Flash, which is fun. Uh, Aerial, Sortami Ascendant. Um, you can play a lot of spells really fast with this deck, so this thing flips quite often, and then when you flip it, you counter the first spell played each turn or by each opponent each turn, so this gets really annoying and it usually dies pretty fast. Tidespout Tyrant is always awesome when you play spells and bounce things. Uh, Vencers, Shaper Savant, uh, just a really cool way to counter something or just bounce something. He's a really good card. I got a clone just to uh, copy cool things, make sure I can, you know, if you play something cool, hey, I'm gonna have that too. Uh, and with the new legendary rules, I really like Clone now. Talran, because I do play a lot of instants and sorceries, and so we get Drakes whenever we do. Mercurial Chemister, um, he's just really, really cool for is it colors. For one, you get to draw a card, and then for another one, you get to discard a card and kill something. So he's he's pretty good in this deck. Okay, and then we got um, kind of just the sorcery. I guess the fun part of the spells, you know what I mean. Undiscovered Clues, draw some cards. Browbeat, deal some damage or draw some cards. Serum Visions gets to uh, set up the top of your library for one, and that's really, really good with Melek. Uh, Blatant Thievery to steal some stuff, and when you copy this, it's really, really awesome. Stolen Goods, you get to steal some more things. Mind's Desire, um, it's kind of a... It's, it's, it's underpowered in this deck because it does cost so much. Even though this deck does play a lot of spells fast, um, I usually only get probably six cards off of this, if that. Um, it's still really, really good card. Uh, right of Replication because it is an awesome card to copy when you kick it, so that's a good thing. Uh, Mizium Mortars is just really good control. Incendiary Command, um, more... More removal and stuff. Breaking point. More more creature removal. This is my mass removal. Um, Epic experiment. Another one of my new favorite cards. When you get this X going and you copy this, man, you can get a lot of sorceries and stuff cast. So it's pretty fun. Brainstorm really sets out the top of your deck nicely with for Melic, and that's that's key in this deck. You can put cards back from your hand, which is nice. Factor fiction. Always love this card. Frantic search. Very good. Uh, very good draw card for th basically you get to draw two cards for free. So, Blue Sun Zenith, also a very good draw card. Beacon of Destruction, just five damage to something, which is nice. Cyclonic Rift, um, return everything or return one thing to their side of the field. Capsize, recurring, returning cards, which is awesome. Chaos Warp. Um, I've actually used this on my stuff more than anything. Uh, like late game, if I see that there's a card on top of my deck that I really want to play and I just don't want to play it on my turn, I can. Um, if they're going to kill something, I can just kill it myself and get something else into play. So I like this guy. 
Fire, Firemind's Foresight. Um, you can really only get very few things in this deck with this card. Um, but I still like it. Because it does get Brainstorm. It does get um, a few other things. So it's pretty nice. High Tide, just to go off late game. When you have enough uh, enough islands in play, you can you can really go off with high tide. Uh, same thing with turnabout. If you get high tide turnabout, it's pretty much game over because you can just sink all your mana a thousand times. Uh, this deck does run a few counter spells. I've got last word, which is one of my favorite counter spells, mostly because I really love the art on it. Um, spell crumple, another one of my favorite counter spells. I would have a hinder in here, but I cannot find mine for some reason. So. Um, discombobulate. I like this counterspell because it makes it so you can look at the top four cards of your library and set them up for Melek, which is awesome. And then some just simple removal. We've got turn and burn because it's a good card. All right, next up we got um, just kind of the fun enchantments. We've got parallel thoughts. This is really really key in this deck because it's combo centered, but you need quite a few cards to get the, that combo off and so with this you can really get those cards fast. Arcane Melee is amazing. My instant slash sorceries are always going to be mostly better than anybody else's that they cast so it's irrelevant that everybody else's cost cost two less to cast so then I can play a lot more. So, um, Aether Storm. I added this in here because this deck doesn't really play a lot of creatures and you know, if somebody wants to play a creature, go ahead and pay for a life. I don't know. It, it's just something I just added not too long ago. So, And we have a Guild of Lotus for the Singleton Mana Rock thing in here. I've got one Planeswalker so far in here. I'm probably going to end up putting um, a Jace when I get one. And a couple other, maybe Chandra or something. Um, the new Chandra. But Rawls Eric is my only Planeswalker. And now we're going to move on to part of the combos, and uh, first off is the like the copying abilities that I have in here that can copy instants and sorceries. We've got Increasing Vengeance, which is really fun to play back from the graveyard. Um, reiterate. Buy it back all the time. Nimic Skilled Mage. I don't run too many copy effects like in the form of like spells. I like to have them more on creatures and uh, other things like Mirari and stuff. Echo Mage, really awesome once you get down there. Gen Illuminatus, Replicate is fun. Dual Casting. Mirari, always love this card. Isochron Scepter for the ones that cost two or less, it's a pretty good card. Past in Flames is kind of a copy card, it gives all my cards in my graveyard flashbacks, that's really nice. And then it has flashback itself to play it again. So. Uh, Spell Twine is the same way. You pay six, you get an instant sorcery from your graveyard, and then you get one from their graveyard. So this is a pretty fun card. Really, really fun to copy this one. And then we got um, Cast Through Time, which is uh, just gives rebound to all my stuff. So that's awesome. I like that. And now we're going to get into the combo part of the deck. Um, the co mostly the combo in this deck is just to try to take infinite turns. It's kind of a douchebaggy combo, but... Uh, I figured, hey, I'm playing red, uh, red, blue, why not be that way? So, this is our take extra turn cards. We've got Temporal Mastery, Walk the Aeons, and Time Warp. Um, I'm working on getting a uh, Beacon of Tomorrows and Time Stretch. Um, here's the the man with the plan. Is it Cronarch? Um, I'm going to end up putting an Anarchist in here sometime too, and a Scrivener to just to give it so I have more of these. But basically, he you play your take an extra turn card, and then you play your Is It Cronarch to get it back, and then you play cards like Followed Footsteps on it. And so each turn it'll put a, a copy of Is It Cronarch into play, and so I just keep getting back my take an extra turn card and casting it. So. Or I can use Dead Eye Navigator with it. I'm just going to put this guy right here. Or I can put use Dead Eye Navigator with him. Just exile him every turn. Um, Kiki Jiki works with him. I'm actually going to put Kiki Jiki here. Uh, Splinter Twin works with him. So every turn, just make a new one with that. And then I also have the Deceiver Exarch in here. Uh, I have a Pestermite right over here somewhere. I'm going to end up putting in right after this. So you know, I, I figured, hey, I'm, I have Kiki Jiki and Splinter Twin in here. Why not run this combo too? And then part of the other combos is. Um, 
Charm Breaker Devils. If you can just have Charm Breaker Devils and a like a uh, just to take an extra turn card in your graveyard, then you just keep getting it back with this. It's harder. It's hard to do that when you uh, when you get to a later game. But uh, early game, if you get this and just that in the this and uh, take an extra turn card in your graveyard, it's just you win, and it's kind of cheap. So well, relatively cheap, six six mana basically. Um, he also works with the other part of the combo in the deck, which is um, just overrunning the opponent with um, with damage. So I've got Kiln Fiend and Charm Breaker for that, because whenever you cast Instant or Sorcery, he gets four, and then Kiln Fiend gets plus three. And then you use stuff like Overblaze, copy it a couple times, or Fatal Frenzy, copy it a couple times, or Rush of Blood and copy it a couple times. So, well, that is the deck the whole entire deck and uh, I have to say this is one of the more fun decks that I've played with recently um, it really has a lot of applications where you can uh, just go off out of nowhere and it kinda it kinda sits back for a while and then it it just goes off so remember to rate comment and subscribe tell me what you think and uh, let me know what kind of what commander you'd like me to build a deck out of next in the comments below and uh, I'll see you next time